The tool reconciliation function is primarily used when we create a master program. Remember, creating a master program means we are placing multiple programs under one file name. As a result, there may be a conflict with how the tools are numbered. Here are two examples. If we create a master program by combining two programs for Operation 1 and Operation 2, tool number 1 in the Operation 1 program is a 3 8 center drill. The problem we have is tool number 1 in the Operation 2 program is a 2 inch diameter face mill. We cannot have two different cutting tools with the same tool number. In example 2, we created a master program by combining two programs for Operation 1 and Operation 2. Tool number 2 in the Operation 1 program is a half inch end mill. And the same half inch end mill in the Operation 2 program is labeled tool number 5. Here we have a choice. Leave the tooling numbers the way they are, and we have two half inch end mills in the machine. Or we can change the half inch end mill in Operation 2 from tool number 5 to tool number 2 giving us the same tool number for the half inch end mill in both programs. After you're done creating a master program, immediately it brings us to the tool reconciliation screen. You can see OP1 and OP2 has the tools labeled 1 through 4. In OP1, my 3A center drill is labeled number 2, and in OP2, the 3A center drill is labeled number 1. I'm going to change that to tool number 2, so now they match in both programs. With tools 2, 3, and 4, we have a conflict between both programs. They are different tools but have the same label. The machine is recommending that I change tools 2, 3, and 4 to 6, 7, and 8. I can accept the machine's recommendations or I can change the tool numbers to anything I want. Remember, the tool numbers 6, 7, and 8 are only recommendations. I can label them with any number that I wish. I will now press the Save Soft key to save the tool information. If I go to Program In and Out, and I hit the Save Soft key. I'm now going to tab down and key in the numbers that I want to save my master program under. It will be saved as a .ptm file. And, and now if I mow it out, go to my Program Setup page and then my Tool Management screen, you can see that the numbers have been changed for both Operation 1 and Operation 2.